With WWE right now, the CM Punk and Chris Jericho storyline, I think it'll go pretty smoothly. Uh, payback is just right around the corner. I can't really see them doing anything special. I can't really see them coming out of the blue. Um, really, I don't think so. But he needs to return to Monday Night Raw and everything because if he doesn't return to WWE Raw with about, I don't know, let's see, two and a half weeks to payback and they're not going to sell the CM Punk of Chris Jericho, I don't think nobody would say that he's going to be there. Um, especially, that's probably going to be one of the biggest matches on the card besides uh, the ambulance match between Cena and Ryback. But I honestly say that uh, it's. I think it's time that WWE right now just says we'll return Punk. We'll just have him cut promos, talk about how Chris Jericho is, how talk about how bad Jericho is. Wrestle a couple matches with Curtis Axel and the tag team. Wrestle a couple jobber single matches against mid card guys, and then he'll be ready to go for Payback. Because if you bring him back at Payback, he's gonna be rusty as hell. Uh. The match won't go smoothly, and WWE probably won't even, uh, nobody would want to buy the interview because they don't see him on TV, then they're really not going to know that he's there, even though they signed the contract. Uh, Curtis Axel is going to interfere, and the match is going to end in the draw. It's going to be Paul Heyman, Curtis Axel, and CM Punk walking away victorious and crap like that. And, uh, yeah. But... Nobody's going to buy the pay-per-view unless CM Punk returns tonight or in a couple of, in like a week or so. Maybe that idea should happen, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Peace.